you're looking for a great lunch or a great dinner out, one of the greatest places in town to go is Hennen's and executive chef Joseph Black joining us this morning. Chef, welcome nice to the to show. You. Wow, you brought a small, small sampling of the many great items you can get down at Hennen's. We're going to start with the meat, of course. Right. What is your secret behind doing steaks so, I'm not going to say well, but so <laughs> tasty? Well, what we do, we have a, a Montague grill process, which mm -hmm. cooks it up at about 1,200 to 1,500 degrees, and it cooks from the top. So we use very simple, an olive oil and canola blend, mm -hmm. and, a, and kosher salt and black pepper on our steaks. And it gives us that amazing char over the top. Instead of grill marks and doing the diamonds, which we'll see in a lot of places, this right. basically cooks it really fast, More sears in the moisture. Color. Yes. And I wanted to talk about this steak, which obviously has not been put into the broiler <laughs> yet. Incredibly beautiful marbling. Yes. What is your secret behind doing this? And I know you get your beet, your meat from uh, Buckhead Beef, right? We this do. Is this is our split bone ribeye, and we get it from Buckhead Beef. And they age it 35 to 60 days for us, and then they drop it off. And it's what they call an upper two-thirds choice, mm -hmm. which means it's right outside of the prime grade, which hence gives you the great marbling that you right. see here. And let's see, if you're going to have a great steak like that, of course, you need some great side items. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell us what you have here. All right. Well, we do feature side items uh, every day, and, we, and they rotate in and out out daily depending on season of course and what's right. available. This is a couple of those. We have one that is a grilled artichoke and roasted tomatoes mm -hmm. and it's finished with a little parsley. This is our fall vegetables which we call and it has a little bit of everything. It has some butternut squash, mm -hmm. some parsnips, some carrots and a little bit of arugula to finish it off with. It's cooked with a little butter and salt and pepper. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's some good stuff. Now, before we get into the desserts, let's talk about seafood. You got an outrageously <laughs> huge seafood uh, yeah. choice as well. Well, we do a little bit from local as well. We do some Carolina trout, mm -hmm. and we try to incorporate it a couple of different ways. We right. run a couple of different features every week, and usually we'll incorporate something from the Atlantic, something from the local mm -hmm. um, seafood places we, ha we have. And the trout seems to run really well. It's a mild fish, and we do it quite a, quite a few different ways. We yeah. blacken it, and sear it, and grill it, and, sure. and we coat it with panko and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, <laughs> put it in a salad. Put I it mean, in a salad, salad, absolutely. Some of the great salads down there are absolutely phenomenal. And of course, dessert. Everyone's favorite. Dessert. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> Tell me about this beauty right here. All right, we make all of our desserts in-house here at Hennen's, and uh, this is our bread pudding. And we have a, a wonderful bakery we use, and we take our bread scraps from that, and we do a little heavy cream and some cranberries. and, we've, and we've Cranberries? We no, I had not dried, thought of cranberries. Yeah, we do dried cranberries, and when you rehydrate the bread, it also rehydrates the cranberries, so mm -hmm. it gives it a little, really nice flavor. A little yeah. sweet. And that's finished with a little butterscotch sauce, which we make in-house as well. A little butterscotch sauce. Yeah, it never of hurts. Of course, since we're getting into autumn, you got something here that looks pumpkin-ish. Yes. We have pumpkin-ish. We have pumpkin and vanilla swirl cheesecake. And we have uh, seasonal cheesecakes, and they vary from time to time. Generally speaking, we'll run them for about a week, and then we'll try right. and change it up based on seasoning. And Hennens has been open for how long now? Twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. And you were the chef that first started. Originally, Hennens. yes. Uh-huh. We, uh, we opened 12 years ago, and it was uh, quite a project. And yeah. it was, at that time, we were one of the few operations downtown. You know, we right. were one of the first people to move in down on the Riverfront Parkway, and uh, things have went really well. And you took fine dining to a whole other level when you opened up. That was there. the idea, yeah. I think we're doing a really good job of that, and maintaining consistency is what we strive for there. Yeah, and I think you get it. And, of course, if you'd like a nice bottle of wine, you have got your choice of red or white, and you've got uh, one of the largest wine cellars. You can't really call it a cellar. It's not <laughs> a cellar, but yes. one of the largest wine menus that's uh, in town. It is, and we, we have uh, a great program there, and because we have gotten, we were one of the first people downtown, we've gotten some age on our wines, which if you're a wine drinker, which oh, yeah. really matters, sure. really matters a lot. Some of our bottles run in from 2007 and 8, and so we've got some really great vintages down there, and our servers have all the information. So when you come in, ask for the information, and they'll be more than happy to give it to you if you're looking for a great bottle of wine. Yeah, if you are looking for a great bottle of wine or a great steak like this, great <laughs> seafood, you can find it at Hennens. So how do you stand working for Tim? Uh, we're out of time. <laughs> we're, we're out. Tim had a great guy. He's a great and, guy. Uh, he's a pleasure. Been, yeah, he, he really is. He's a, certainly a very talented restaurateur who's been feeding generations of Chattanoogans now for 
uh, north of 40 years. Next time you come back, we're going to get you to do the seafood thing. Sounds maybe great. Some fish, maybe a little lobster. Sounds maybe we can come down there and cook in the kitchen with you. That would be even better. All right. Sounds like a plan. Thank Chef, you Chef, thank you so much. Again, welcome. it is Chef Joseph Black at Pennon's Restaurant down on Chestnut Street, you know, right where they are by the aquarium. Call them at 634-5160 or pennons.com. Stick around. We'll be back to button things up and cut into the steak. Maybe coming up here in just a couple of minutes on Let's Chat.